Hello everybody, welcome back to today's to coding tutorial. That was weird. What did I just do? Today we're going to be checking on how to add a uh, scoreboard lib, which is a little bit of a library that gives you these uh, scoreboards, which is pretty cool, into your Spigot project or Spigot plugin. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I, used to, I recently used this um, for my other plugin and I wanted to be like, Hey, I'm gonna put this in here, so it's cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So pretty much, I'm not gonna be using Maven for this. I've had issues with Maven with this, so I'm gonna just go ahead and show you how to import it manually into IntelliJ. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the lib and keep it to my computer. We are then going to go ahead and put this somewhere in our computer. For my example, I already saved it to a folder in my computer so you want to save this somewhere never move this jar once you save it you want to keep it in the same place because it's going to be used every single time you export your project so you're going to need to have it somewhere you remember so here's what we do once we have it on our computer you're going to go to file go down to project structure click libraries and click plus you're going to see all these here leave those alone we're not going to do anything when you press the plus you want to click java now, this is where we're going to find the jar where we have it currently. For me, I'm keeping it in my shared projects folder under scoreboard lib. And then I press OK, press OK again, and press apply, and OK once more. This means we have successfully added it to our project. You can keep this open. Here's what you want now. Now, you need to, how do I use it? Let's go ahead and do this. So we want to... In, um, so we're going to shade it into our own plugin. We're not going to run it as its own. So we're going to just go ahead and take this code, which is just saying, and put it in our on enable and press alt enter to import. You can see it's importing the lib now from a different jar that we designated. It's going to say, hey, I want you to load up in my plugin instead of loading up on your own. This makes it so your plugin actually includes that plugin. So your, your plugin size, file size, will, do, will very much increase by using APIs, but they make things simpler because it holds most of the code. So it gives you an example code right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this example code somewhere, but we're just gonna, let's just go ahead and I'll put it in main for now. We'll organize it later. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do slack scoreboard or slack slack scoreboard to say, this is gonna be our scoreboard code. We're gonna do public void. We're gonna make this a public void. Or actually, we're going to go ahead and put this in its own class. We're going to put this in um, events, but we're going to create one where we're going to say join scoreboard event. This way, we keep it a little bit more organized. And of course, we're going to implement listener to just say we're going to implement this and it's going to work. So we're going to do what we were doing before. We're going to set a public void and we're going to call it like scoreboard. It's that simple. You're going to just make that and then you're going to copy what you have here. And we're going to edit this to our liking. So we're just going to copy this and throw it in our scoreboard here. You're going to get errors at first. All you got to do is import the classes that it wants you to import. Um, it should auto set the imports as long and you for scoreboard, you want to import the scoreboard lib, not normal scoreboard and import scoreboard lib again and import the classes. And pretty much you just have to import all of the classes that it wants you to import in order to for you to get this to work properly. So. Just make sure you import the ones from the um, lib, not from Java, or this won't work. And you can see here, we have successfully imported the lib to our IntelliJ. We have everything with no errors, and it looks pretty good. We're going to keep the default things for now and just make sure it works before we do anything. So then, we're going to go to the end here. So technically, this is our scoreboard. We're going to leave this alone for a moment. We're going to do an at override. I mean, at event handler, not override. That's for commands. We're going to do public void and we're going to say on join and we're going to do player capital P player join event and call it an event. We're going to fire event. Remember that. Then we're going to go back over to our lib here and see what it says. So in order to make this work, we're going to have to, oh, it doesn't say on the paper. But if we remember our default Java and spigot API things, all we got to do is call the scoreboard public void here and it's going to run this code for the player who joins now if we want to deactivate it and i recommend doing this on leave just in case it doesn't normally have to be done but i do recommend you set an on leave again and 
set it to on quit. It's actually player quit event. It's um, not called leave event, but it's player quit event. And then we're going to copy what it says here, scoreboard.deactivate. Put it in there to make sure it deactivates itself. So why this is erroring is something that I have to look at. So it says, most likely because we named our th same thing scoreboard here instead of in the correct place. So, whoops, I accidentally enabled Discord there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute that because I am currently in a call, which is not a good thing. I want to make sure that it's gone. So actually, we're not going to need this. I just looked over at my code. We're going to not going to need this to deactivate it. So we're just going to remove that. We all we need is the on torn event. We don't. That other one is if you want to disable it when you're doing things in game. So if you're doing something like you join the game and you put up a title or something, you can remove that. We don't need that for this one. We're just going to keep all this default. Pretty much this is going to work right now. We just have to register our listeners or our events in the main class. So we're going to go ahead and um, register our join scoreboard event and go ahead and build our plugin once again. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the server and show you what this looks like now. Oh, I just remembered something. We missed out on something big. We gotta go to file, project structure, and go down to our artifacts. You'll see that under tutorial one under available elements, you have to right click and press extract into output. So now you have your tutorial one and extracted scoreboard lib.jar, press apply and okay then go ahead and build your artifacts. The reason for this is this is actually putting that plugin into yours. So it makes it way simpler instead of running multiple plugins on the same server. So we have gone ahead and copied it into our plugins folder and we're gonna start the server. Right now this scoreboard, we have it set to work for 1.8 only. The reason why we do this is because it makes it way simpler. So we're gonna go ahead and log in now. And there we go. You can see it's a little glitching because of the scrolling. I normally get rid of the scrolling but it, um, it does work. So what we can do to make this like not glitch out like this is we can edit what it says. So in our scoreboard event, we can just get rid of these first two highlighted strings. I prefer no highlighted strings anyway. It makes it simpler and we'll go ahead and just keep, we'll get rid of everything that's making it like go crazy like that. So I'll get rid of everything and I'll show you how to make like a simple scoreboard. We'll have a blank spot in the beginning. We're not gonna set a title or anything for this one. Then we're gonna click next, and all you gotta do is actually enter what you want. So I'm gonna enter and color code it. Hello, YouTube. Then we're gonna have a blank line, and the next line we're gonna have is my name is, right? And we're gonna do a plus and p dot get display name. And that's gonna get our players display name. And then at the end, we're gonna do blank, and we're gonna set our website um, down at the bottom, which is bjhd.dev. So we'll put that down at the bottom in white. And we'll actually make it, we'll make it uh, gold, which is in six. And then that will be it. We're going to go ahead and build this, build artifacts and rebuild. All you got to do is go ahead and drag it into your plugins folder and restart your server. If you do not restart, it does work if you don't restart, but it can be a little bit more glitchy than if you don't restart. So we're going to let it start up now and we're going to go ahead and join again and we're going to see that it's completely, there we go. Hello, you. so we have the blank space, so let me show you what we did. We have a blank space, which we have here, blank. We have our hello YouTube, which we have right here. We have my name, blank space in between there and my name is name. My name is NoodlesYT. In order to make that I have a space, all you got to do is add a space after the is. That would be fixed when we restart again. We have another blank space and it has the website in yellow. So um, you can see it's a little glitching. This is, it could be because I'm using Badline. Um, I haven't had that many issues with this API. So it should be pretty steady to work. It may be because I'm recording or something. I haven't had these glitch areas over here unless I'm um, recording or something. So it should be fine. I don't know why it's doing that, but it does make a scoreboard. It makes it way easier than actually typing out the classes. It's literally this. This is all you need. You can change the update interval to be less so it flickers less and stuff. You can set that all up if you wish. So it's pretty simple to do, pretty easy to code. Um, a lot of people have been requesting a scoreboard tutorial. So this is what I recommend doing. It's the easiest way in doing it. It doesn't take that much time. You can make cool scoreboards that um, can have up to 48 text instead of 16. So it can pretty much span the entire screen and it makes it really cool. So I do recommend going to, if you do want to create something like this, 
make sure you do it this way because um, it's way easier than coding an entire scoreboard class by yourself. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to go on our Discord server or leave them down in the comments. I would be happy to help you out with them. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications and like this video to make sure that we have more in the future. This is episode, I believe, 5 of this series, so we're still making them. Don't worry. There's a little space in between the last two episodes, so that's because I've been so busy with schools. Go check out our devlog that came out yesterday for information on why I wasn't uploading and why our staff haven't uploaded any updates this week. So make sure to go check that out. If you have any questions, again, leave them down in the comments or go on our Discord, PG development.com slash discord my name is noodles i will see you in the next video most likely tomorrow see you tomorrow